Welcome back to the Tap House. So let's go ahead and get into the beer review. Bring out the Tap House Plinko machine. All right, so again, just to preface, one through five, the beers. I don't know if you can see the beers anymore, but my hope is we get a big bulky one. So let's go ahead and get into it. By the way, it's dirty because this guy dropped beer on it. I mean, it's okay. It's okay, guys. So... You're gonna get ready. Wait, put it more towards the side. There we go. One. Call it out. Cow down, boo. One, two, three, go. Surprise, oh my motherfucker. God. What? Four. <laughs> four again? Yeah, four again. Two no, fours. Is, start it all over again. No, no, no. We just go with it. We're gonna go with it. Come on. That's what we switch them. That's what we switch them. <laughs> all all right. right. Put that son of a bitch down. All right, so what beer did we get? We got the Cinnamon Dulce and Nitro Stout from the Firestone Walker. Firestone Walker, they have this great company. All the beers that I've tried from them have been great so far. 808s, I think it's one of them. So They I, are uh, out of California, so, you know. I mean, they're pretty well known, I feel. We're going to go ahead and bust one open. And, uh, and then this, bust another one over there. <laughs> this uh, little little beer here is a seasonal release. Uh, introducing cinnamon, uh, dulce, nitro, an instant firestone walker classic made to warm your soul for the fall and winter seasons. Um, we only, we, I mean, we didn't want to waste uh, another can. I mean, I don't know if you, if well, we're, we're, it's a uh, it. The, they're the nitro ones, the ones that you're supposed to like. Whoosh, and then like pour it straight down. So oh, are they? Yeah, it's a nitro style. Okay, well, let me get another one real quick. All right. Well, can you can you not make a mess? I'll try to. I'll try to. While he goes do that, I'll I'll show you guys how you're supposed to do it. I mean, it's we've only done one nitro before, and uh, hopefully I can do this correctly. Nice. All right. Well, he's gonna talk. I'm gonna do my pour next. I think we might we might have let this stamp. There we go. There we're supposed to pour it straight down. There you go. And um, it's supposed because it's got nitrogen in it, and it's supposed to give you this really nice head, as you can see. Um, very thick, uh, voluptuous, and uh, as with all styles, pretty uh, pretty thick. Wait, it's mean, a stout. Yeah, it's another stout. Yeah, see, you see, this is where you're supposed. This effect is where you're supposed to get right there, and then it will slowly fill up to that nice little head that you have going up um, there as the nitrogen, you know, seeps out. Excuse the dirty glass. It's uh, supposed to make the beer creamier, have a more creamier, velvety experience in your mouth. I'm gonna take a lot um, of shits today. So, uh, I well, mean, gotta be, gotta be, gotta be <laughs> front to the audience, you know. Um, so, um, if you were a fan of those uh, do uh, cinnamon doce lattes, uh, you know, Wait, what's Starbucks. Doce latte? It's just cinnamon sugar. Technically, do dulce, dulce. How, how dulce. cinnamon do you think this is going to be? Because I'm not a big fan of cinnamon, but so far. I love, I love cinnamon. It. And if it, you know. Oh, if, look, it went away. Yeah, like I said, it's supposed to. All that nitrogen escapes up. Well, let's go ahead and just smell, smell it first it. before we uh, let all the, all the uh, aroma oh, go away. Yeah. Very cinnamon, like a cinnamon oh, cookie. Oh, super sweet, yeah. super sweet smell. It's a pleasant smell, but super yeah. sweet. Very Christmassy, very Christmassy. Yeah, too late, too bad we didn't do this on Christmas. That's my bad, guys. I was supposed to be reviews. I don't know what the fuck happened. Oh, I had COVID. Survivor, right here. Survivor. Three, three, two, 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 uh, back, two vaccine shots and a booster, and I still caught it. But uh, it's it's kind of very sweet, kind of like uh like uh cinnamon toast crunch kind of like the with hmm. the milk at the end like when you finish the cereal okay yeah i, I mean i don't like cinnamon toast crunch but yeah uh, I, could, I mean i've had it before but you get a little bit of the st that that typical stout flavor uh scent at the end um you know if that little that malty sweetness at the at the coming in at the end after all that rush of cinnamon it's a six uh six alcohol by value yeah, it's a lower uh, tier on the alcohol volume, but yeah. I mean, I'm assuming it's gonna be pretty sweet, like I said. So let's go ahead and uh, just jump into the the taste. Cheers, salute. Hey, give me oh, my sorry. cup. Hey, come on. Wait, wait, wait. What? 
it kind of it kind of it now it smells kind of like a like a liquado like well i don't i mean everybody makes liquados different like when 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 i would make the liquado like when my mom would make me the liquados when i was a little kid you know with the banana the milk she put cinnamon in there i'm i'm kind of tasting i'm kind of smelling that i'm like not, okay well my mom put banana milk raw egg Oh, we didn't get it. No, and no, sugar, no, no. and sometimes it will ice in there, and then sometimes chocolate. But uh, let me know, um, all my Hispanics out there. All right, yeah, let us know on down comments down below, and uh, it's yeah, okay. Well, fuck you, let's do this. Okay, why well, I always gotta go first? Okay, fine. Um, well, I mean for the I. For being a alcohol by Valium, it's just, it's not even you can't even taste it that it's like alcohol. It feels like it's just literally like a, a latte or whatever, uh, like how you said from Starbucks. Um, very refreshing. It's cold as hell. It's been there for a while, but I'm not a big fan of cinnamon, so that's probably what's killing it for me. But yeah, the cinnamon comes out strong, but it also stays in on your tongue, it stays on your tongue the whole way. And uh, I mean, I mean, what else can you get? It's a cinnamon beer, sour, so it's um, it's very cinnamony. It's, it's very, it's cinnamony. Yeah, there's nothing else in there. It's just pretty cinnamon. Um, yeah, like he said, it's it's lower end on the ABV, so there's very, there's not a lot of bite from the from the alcohol. Oh, it's very creamy. Very creamy. Yeah, it's, it's a nitro, it's, right, nitro right there. Yeah, it's creamy, it, and it, it goes it, down really fast. Con like, yeah, <sighs> continuing with that trend that I started, it feels just like the liquid. It feels like I'm drinking. I mean, of course, I, there's no banana taste or anything. It's just cinnamon, but the 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 creaminess of the mouthfeel it very much reminds me of a liquid. Uh, I mean, for what it is, it is giving you what you want. Oh, it's six percent. Six percent. I said eight percent. My bad. Yeah, six percent. Uh, well, it's kind less. of bitter. Um, the IBU is the, fifty. The uh, more for all the well, uh, all those that you like would like to know. So it's a little bit more on the bitter end for a stout. Um, so it's it's medium bit medium bitter. Yeah, it's there, it's not that it's not sweet. It's not overly sweet. Like you, no, if you're I, thinking that it's gonna. Uh, uh, like sickening sweet no there's like very little sweetness to the, it the, well I, the cinnamon flavor comes out more than anything yeah. but the more i drink it the more i talk the more, the more i talk to you i can start getting those stouts hints the notes of the hit stouts like i'm breathing out warm air oh i don't know maybe is it the nitrous in it is it nitrous nitro no nitro no, should nitro. be cold <laughs> but it's a good beer um, I've never, I did, I believe this is my first Firestone. Oh, um, this is like beer. my third, fourth never, one. I have not had this. Is Soka Vesa Firestone? No, that's, that's Stone, Stone oh. Head Brewing Company. Uh, I get all these stones confused. No, the, the Firestone, they are a good company and they have some bangers. Uh, I remember the one, I think, uh, hopefully I'm right. The 808s are great. I always get like a, literally a 40 ounce and just drink it. I feel so relaxed the whole day. But I mean, like I said, uh, what is what it what it is doing and what it says it is, it's good. The nitro kind of helps it really, really smooth flavor towards it. It makes it oh cinnamon and vanilla spice nitro stout. You didn't read that? Back out in the that oh was my there. God, <laughs> maybe that's the reader man. Maybe that's what I'm getting the notes of the liquado because of the vanilla. Mm -hmm. Well, our dumbasses didn't know there was. But vanilla in there and we're just sticking with the cinnamon so well i mean there you go so now but, but now that you, see, that's why it's kind of crazy because now that you said it i'm like okay now let's taste it okay now it's all mental it is mental it is mental, it is mental. if somebody but, says oh uh that's what advertising is oh hey this is what you're gonna get a cinnamon and that's where oh, what are your minds gonna go towards first they're gonna your mind's gonna look for the cinnamon flavor and all that stuff this one that oh the one oh fuck <laughs> this is another that's another beer review uh but the prior to the other one we looked at it it says a coffee so our first mentality or uh milk coffee or cho coffee for uh, mexican chocolate what the fuck am i saying basically your mind gets fucked it's yeah trick. but i like this beer i don't mind it i would drink it yeah i, I don't mind it a lot i would probably buy it again if and then though it's a nice seasonal winter beer i would definitely buy this in the winter i feel like drinking this like out outside like cold like how it is cold right now like with the bonfire going you know sipping on this i, I pretty pretty chill vibes i would that's that's what i'm thinking 
<laughs> it is a pretty good beer. Uh, it does have the flavors. I'm not a big cinnamon person, so it kind of for me, it's not my thing. But I do enjoy drinking it, and it does have a smooth aftertaste, and it doesn't leave a nasty taste in my mouth. It actually is kind of sweet. So I do recommend going it. I'm not going to buy these again because I'm not a cinnamon guy. But if somebody offers to me, I would totally take it. Yeah, so check them out. Um, if, they're still season, if, it's, if it's still with I mean, it's winter it's still. Yeah, I mean, it was still like probably late March, early April. Yeah. So uh, go go buy it. Go buy it. Uh, give it a taste and let us know what you guys think down in the comments below. Anyways, uh, stay tuned for the next beer reviews. Uh, we have five more beers coming in. Actually, ten coming in so you'll see more different beers along the way so you might see you might not see these beers again you might see another whole new five depending on uh if jay brings them within that week but we already have three four five i don't know how many if i think probably five videos going up so you probably won't see this until pro probably like a month later <laughs> so yeah yeah so soon. it might be too late <laughs> for you to go yeah, and get these. probably but you know next year always next year yeah so Drive safe, drink responsibly, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.